I've already shown you how LEDs can brighten your holidays. Now I'll show you how LEDs can help you find your way in the dark. As an LED fanatic, I've been collecting various flashlights and lanterns that use LEDs as opposed to standard incandescent bulbs. And I'll show you some of my collection here. I don't have all of them with me at the moment. Some of them are in storage. I'll start with my smallest and I'll work up from there. So this is my smallest. This is just a little keychain light. I'll show you the brightness there. Hard to tell on camera. A camera always brightens lights much further than they really are. It's good enough that you can at least see walking around, but not really enough to actually do anything with. But it's better than nothing anyway. And now I'll work up here to my little headlamp. I carry this around in my toolbox. It has seven individual LEDs in them and it's got three brightness settings. That's low. It uses just one LED. It's about the same as the keychain I showed you. This is medium. It uses three of the LEDs. In fact, you can see the stripes it's causing on the screen. Kind of intermediate point. And then there's high. It's using all seven LEDs. And this does a pretty good job helping you get around. And this is, on medium and high, bright enough to actually do work with. Like I said, I carry it in my toolbox. It comes in quite handy. Now here's a little lantern. This actually used to be a regular lantern, but I modified it by adding a 1 watt Luxion model LED. See, I have it tilted up because this doesn't have a lens or anything to evenly disperse the light. I'll shine it there. See, it does not look very bright, but you got to realize the light's spread out further. It's not focused into a single pinpoint of light. See, now a medium-sized room, I'd say a room that's about uh, 15 by 25 foot, it, it does a good job lighting it up good enough so you can walk around in, when it's completely dark. And sitting here on the table, if you're within, I'd say within a few feet of it, you can read by it, you can do other work, which is fairly good. Okay, now here's my large LED lantern. I got this for $20 at the clearance corner in our local Walmart. It's got 20 individual LEDs. It's got two brightness settings. That's low. Eight of the LEDs are on. And then here's high. All 20 LEDs are on. See, I personally do not notice much brightness difference between low and high. There is a little bit, but not really enough to be significant. On both low or high, it's bright enough to light a medium-sized room, good enough so you can walk around and you can do work if you're within a few feet of it, do reading, writing, anything like that. So that's not bad. Now we'll get into the big boys. Mag light. This is a two AA model. So it uses double standard double AA batteries. It's got an LED module in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there, that's pretty good. And it's very bright. It's brighter than a standard double A mag light. Unfortunately, I don't have a standard double A mag light with me to compare here, but it is much brighter. I guarantee you that. Just like a regular mag light, you can focus it, spot, flood, like that. Turn it too far, it turns off. That's pretty good. Here, I'll take the reflector off and I'll show you the actual LED module. That's how it lights without the reflector. This is a 3 watt LED. As opposed to my earlier lantern, this is only one watt. You can see this is much brighter than that lantern. It's also got a pure, wider light. My little homemade lantern here had more of a bluish tint to it. So this does a good job lighting up a medium room. Good enough so that you can walk around. And certainly you can read by it if you're within 10 feet. Which is very good. Here, I'll turn it off here. And you can see it pushing down on the switch so you can see the LED. That's the actual LED right there. Okay, now we'll turn this off. And I'll show you my big boy. My big one. 
it's another mag light. It's a big mag light. It's a 4D mag light. It takes 4D batteries. You can see the module in there. And this is the brightest light I have. It also uses a 3 watt light, just like the 2AA model, but because it ha uses 4 batteries instead of 2, it has more power available to it, so it's able to be brighter. Just like all other mag lights, you can focus it between spot and flood. And I really like this one. And here I'll show you what this one looks like without the reflector. <laughs> Takes a while to get the reflector off because they got it on there good. Don't mind the screeching. And that's how it looks with the reflector turned off. Or with the reflector removed. This is the brightest light I have. This light is just as bright as that fluorescent lantern you might see in the background. My little 20 LED lantern I showed you earlier. Yeah, it's bright enough. It's bright, but not really as bright as that fluorescent lantern, so I'm still holding on to that one back there. But this is just as bright as that lantern. This lights up a medium-sized room just as well, if not better, than that lantern. You can certainly walk by it, and anywhere in the room you should be able to read and do other functions. And now I'll show you. I was talking about how this larger mag light, even though it uses the same LED, it's brighter because it has more power available to it. I'll show you a side-by-side -side example here. Give me a minute to put the reflector back on. They build these things real good. Okay, there we go. There's the 4D. Let me... And there's the double A. This is the 4D. This is the double A, the 2 double A. You can see the the 4D has more of a tighter spot of light, kind of a whiter, pure color. It's brighter. And it also has really long battery life. That's another good thing about LEDs. The batteries in these things just last forever, almost, it seems like. So, that's my collection. At least most of it, anyway. Like I said, I still got some others in storage. Little headlamp and keychain. If you don't have an LED flashlight or lantern yet, I really do recommend it.